Welcome to WCC Charlotte to go on uh, December 27th, two days after Christmas. Wow. And Larry Sprinkle, did I see it right? We, we got almost two inches of rain yesterday. 1.8. One day Goodness. record. Yeah. That's a lot of rain. It's out of your rain. Rain. That's, that's mm -hmm. good news. Just fog and drizzle, just kind of messy out there this morning. Yeah. But the heavy rain. Tell you what, it just rained on and, and on and, and on, on yesterday. Definition of a washout. Yeah, good, was sleep, yesterday. good sleeping weather. Oh, I know. I wish I did. Um, Chris is going to have some really fascinating weather stats coming up. Yeah, rain second. stats, so don't go anywhere. Um, but um, as we wind down the year, um, Brittany Van Voorhees has got to look at the, the biggest weather stories of 2023. Take a look. Scientists know 2023 will be the hottest year on record across the globe, and December isn't even over yet. To top it off, the last 10 consecutive years globally have been the warmest 10 on record. In Charlotte, we had notable highs of our own. The Queen City kicked off the year breaking the all-time record warmest February. But winter chill is critical for fruit crops across the Carolinas to break dormancy. If it gets warm too soon or the chill requirement is met early, plants may bloom early, adding risk of freeze or frost damage. Did you buy stock and tissues this year? Maybe you should have. Another large temperature swing sprung allergy season into action. It was the earliest start to the pollen season on record in Charlotte. Rainfall patterns were also far from normal in 2023. Long dry spells led to significant drought conditions by October and weeks-long burn bans by November. And when we do get heavy rain, the Carolinas are uniquely prone to flooding due to our hilly landscapes and proximity to multiple rivers and lakes, especially during the fall and winter months. Leaf peeping brings approximately $1 billion to North Carolina tourism every year. So cutting that number can be harsh on our neighbors' finances. These silent events are less noticeable on a daily basis, but can have more drastic long-term impacts. And they are all symptoms of climate change. The science tells us these events, like severe droughts, intense rainfall, and extreme temperature fluctuations are becoming more common. For WCNC Charlotte, a meteorologist, Brittany Van Voorhees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, Melissa chiming in says, it's been messy walking the dog. She is ready for sunshine. <laughs> we got it's, it's on the way. Oh. It is on the way. But then they were Tomorrow. talking about how we saw those drought conditions. Mm -hmm. how, I mean, we really needed the rain. Yes. I don't know that we wanted it on Christmas. Well, that's going to be on Christmas. That's over. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Now we're well, moving. We, we're moving. we didn't yeah, have it on Christmas. Yeah, we did not. Christmas was okay. Yeah. 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 Um, you've got some fascinating stats. Okay. This is what we all been waiting for. It really is. Okay, so the year is wrapping up, but yesterday wasn't just a record day for December 26th. It was also the pow, 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 the fifth wettest day. If we can bring up the graphics, I just look ridiculous without the graphics over there. It's over on traffic. We have 1.8 inches of rain yesterday. This was the fifth wettest day, but what's really interesting is if you look at this, December 10th, November 21st, so three of the wettest days that we've had of the year have come in November and December. So that was a, a nice little catch-up that we needed to have. Wow. But the big question here is, okay. which day of the week was the wettest? As we know, Many of those weekends had rain at some point, so maybe that's a hint. But what day? Everyone take a guess. I'm going to say Saturday. You're going to say Saturday? I think it was Sunday. You say Sunday? Larry, what do you think? Well, I'm just, I, had, I don't know the facts in this. I'll, I'll go with Saturday. Okay. Saturday? Well, if you said Sunday, like Kaylin, you are correct. Oh, just beat out Saturday by one day. So, uh, yeah, I have a lot of time in my hands, so I count days. I counted all the data. But, yeah, 20 days, we are 20 Sundays, which is crazy because you've had 51 wow. of them. It's rained of some sort, and the, you know there was that back-to-back -back Sundays that we had over that inch of rain. And then 19 Saturdays and Tuesday, only 11 Tuesdays had rain. So Tuesday was technically the driest day of the week. So that means you can, uh, Tuesdays you can plan that probably not going to be in rain on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesdays right? are good. <laughs> and, uh, Tuesdays oddly, I did this last yeah. year. Tuesday yeah. was also the driest yeah, okay. day of the week last year as well. Really? So Don't way to go Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, speaking of dry stretches, as you know, uh, it didn't rain for quite some time. There were a few traces of rain. They were in between there, but 26 days without a measurable rainfall. That was mid October to the beginning of November. That's what got <clears> us in this mess for this drought status. But Larry and I thought this was really interesting. December. Boy, are we playing catch-up to finish the year. Wow. We're over three yes. inches above average for the year, mm -hmm. but over 
3.25 inches for December, and that's not factoring in today's data. So you see all those red bars that were in the wrong direction. That's what get us in this drought status. The drought monitor is not going to factor in all the rain that we saw over the last 24 hours, but I'm letting you know, at least for the first drought monitor that we get for the beginning of 2024, it is showing that I think a lot of the Carolinas are doing much, much Thank better. Thank you, Mother Nature. So yeah, we're doing well. Good. I know everyone is feeling more fulfilled with those rain stats. I'm glad to bring it for you. You just dropped some Thank serious knowledge. Yeah. I mean, wow. By the way, uh, Joy, she said in Wisconsin this summer, got up to a record high about 104 with a heat index of 114. Oh, wow. That's Joy Mott. Wow. Joy, that's hot no matter where you yeah. are, Wisconsin or otherwise. Ooh. And 104 is the hottest temperature on record for Charlotte. That's the hottest that we've ever gotten. You got any other little nuggets you want to drop uh, I, I mean, We don't I, have the time, Ben. Wow, we don't I mean, have it's the time. Just, it's like, you're, you're just like <laughs> endless supply. And negative five is the coldest we've ever had here at Charlotte. <laughs> okay, okay, that's right. it. I'm done. I'm done. So it looks like we're going to be drying out a little bit now. That's the good news. Finally, yes. Yeah. Okay. That, in fact, we can take a look at the forecast. Got a lot going on. We've got the weather two over there. Got a big game at the stadium, and it should be okay for them. When you talk nice. about football, when it's upper 50s and yeah. low 60s, I mean, you can't complain about that. I'm not expecting rain or any storms or anything like that. We'll take you into the weekend. Today, tomorrow, well above average. Uh, Friday afternoon, dry weather. Dry weather Saturday. Sunday's okay. Celebrating New Year's Eve should be chilly. I mean, you know, it, you almost expect that. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Major problems. Next Tuesday, slightest chance of showers, but the high next Tuesday, only 49. And Do you have a New Year's resolution, Larry? Well, not to have any resolutions. There you go. <laughs> That's easy. Just live That's well, resolution. period. I'm sorry, I can't Into help myself. Sentence. One more stat. Please. This weekend's going to be dry. That'll be only the 15th weekend of 2023 that's had zero rain, not even a trace of rain. Good. So enjoy I'll it. it. I'll take it. By the way, Kaylin, nice been having you the last yes, couple of been days, fun. right? Come back so much time. fun with you yeah. all. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Anytime. We'll be back, me and Brittany, over the yeah. weekend to That's help right. you ring in the new yeah. year. So Always a good time. Yeah. Um, so chime in, yeah. let us know what you think, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning for another edition of WCNC Charlotte.